AgriSolar is the co-location of agriculture and solar panels, and they are not in conflict with one another. It's catching on. It's important to me, like people know that it's possible to get involved. It takes a little bit of tenacity and a little bit of time. I think what it comes down to is interpersonal connection and communication. Come on in folks, dive into the prairie. Bringing people to the site on tours is essential to spreading the word of what we're doing here. Today we're on a 66 acre solar site in Buffalo, Minnesota, which is just west of the Twin Cities. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're very excited to have all of our folks here from AgriSolar and those others who are doing really great work in the industry. I was just in love with Lake Pulaski. It had such a verdant collection of native plants and pollinators. We are at a pollinator-friendly solar array this morning. It's an important industrial power plant that is providing this essential pollinator habitat. This group has been wandering through. We have about 86 sheep on site. Anecdotally, we know that grazing is good for prairies. These plants evolved with bison, with elk, with these other large grazers on the landscape. We're seeing a little bit greater species diversity in the graze sections. The grazing of the sheep is actually enriching and benefiting the pollinator habitat. If you sit and look around and let yourself slow down, you can see all kinds of different butterflies and bees and beetles and all kinds of stuff. This is our big lake site. This one is one megawatt AC is enough energy for about 225 homes. We have a single access tracking system. The panels move slightly from east to west throughout the day. This project is our first site that has uh, sheep and pollinator habitat on it. We also work with bear honey here for commercial beekeeping. Pollination is a crucial part of what commercial beekeeping is. We place hives on various sites around the state. So if we can establish more and more habitat like this, we can create oases for indigenous pollinators themselves. We have our co-located honeybees, and those combined with the natural native pollinators that are on these sites will provide pollination to the farms that are pollinator dependent around the sites. As humans, we love to eat, and we love to eat good food in particular. You've got a raw salad of Swiss chard, lacosito kale, and collard greens dressed in a bear, honey, and sweetgrass vinaigrette. These ingredients come from solar farms all across the country. Agrivoltaics is a big thing for me to be able to see what can be grown, grazed, or raised in and around solar arrays. I hope that sites like this become the norm. Investing in the community while also creating tremendous value for ecosystems and agriculture. The more we can think about these types of landscapes as multi-purpose, the better off we'll be in the long run. AgriSolar is the future, for sure. <laughs>